Dreamcatcher's Adventure. Chapter 1. Luna's Discovery. In the picturesque village of Willowbrook, nestled amidst rolling hills and sparkling streams, there lived a young dream catcher named Luna. Luna had the most vibrant blue eyes that sparkled with curiosity and a heart as pure as the morning dew. Her purpose was to collect the sweetest dreams for children, ensuring they would sleep peacefully each night. One radiant morning, as the sun began to paint the sky with hues of gold and pink, Luna awoke with a feeling of excitement tingling in her fingertips. She knew that today was the day she would embark on her very first adventure to gather dreams. Luna leapt out of her cosy dream catcher nest and fastened her rainbow-coloured wings to her back. With a determined smile, Luna fluttered through the village, her wings shimmering in the early light. The village was abuzz with life as people prepared for the day ahead. Luna's parents, the wise dreamweavers, blessed her with their love and bestowed upon her a special dream catcher made of moonbeams and stardust. This dream catcher would guide her on her journey and protect her from any harm. Following the dream catcher's gentle glow, Luna ventured into the enchanted forest surrounding Willowbrook. Tall trees towered above her, their branches whispering secrets of ancient magic. As she stepped deeper into the woods, the air grew thick with mystery, and the sound of rustling leaves filled her ears. Suddenly, a mischievous giggling echoed through the forest. Luna's heart skipped a beat as a peculiar creature hopped out from behind a gnarled tree trunk. It was a small, furry creature with sparkling emerald eyes and a long tail that curled like a question mark. Hello, little one, Luna greeted the creature with a smile. Who might you be? The creature tilted its head, its whiskers twitching. I am known as Pippin, the mischievous squirrel, it replied, a mischievous glint in its eyes. What brings you to our mystical forest, Luna? I am on a quest to collect the sweetest dreams for children. Luna explained, her voice filled with determination. I wish to bring them joy and peace as they slumber. Pippin's eyes widened with delight. How marvellous! You are embarking on a grand adventure, Luna. But beware! The forest holds challenges and surprises beyond your wildest dreams. Are you ready? Luna's heart swelled with bravery as she nodded. I am ready, Pippin. With courage in my heart and the dream catcher's guidance, I will overcome any challenge that comes my way. With newfound determination, Luna and Pippin ventured deeper into the enchanted forest, ready to uncover the wonders that awaited them. Little did they know that this was only the beginning of their magical journey to collect the sweetest dreams for children. Chapter 2 the Song of the Whimsical Creatures As Luna and Pippin ventured deeper into the enchanted forest, they were greeted by a symphony of melodious chirps and soft whispers. The air was alive with the enchanting songs of whimsical creatures that resided within the forest. Luna followed the gentle glow of her dream catcher, which led her to a meadow bathed in dappled sunlight. It was a magical place where flowers bloomed in vibrant colours and butterflies danced with grace. In the centre of the meadow stood a majestic oak tree, its branches reaching toward the heaven. As Luna approached the oak tree, the ground beneath her feet began to tremble. She looked up in awe to see a group of creatures descending from the branches. They were tiny and delicate, with gossamer wings that shimmered like moonlight. They were the whispering fairies, known for their ability to transform dreams into soothing melodies. One fairy, named Aurora, floated gracefully before Luna and Pippin. Her wings glowed with a soft, ethereal light, and her voice carried a gentle harmony. Welcome, Luna, she whispered, her voice like a soothing lullaby. We have heard of your noble quest to collect dreams for children. We shall aid you on your journey. Luna's heart swelled with gratitude as she bowed before Aurora. Thank you, wise fairies. Your assistance means the world to me. With a wave of their wands, the whispering fairies surrounded Luna and Pippin, forming a protective circle. Together they travelled deeper into the forest, their footsteps guided by the magical rhythm of the fairies' wing. As they journeyed, 
Luna learned the secrets of the forest. The trees whispered tales of forgotten dreams, and the flowers shared their vibrant hues to inspire children's imagination. Luna listened intently, soaking in the wisdom of the forest and its inhabitants. One night, beneath a canopy of stars, Luna and her companions reached the edge of a sparkling lake. The moon reflected upon its surface, creating a shimmering path that led to a distant island. Luna's dreamcatcher glowed brighter, urging her to follow the moonlit path. Without hesitation, Luna stepped onto the path and the fairies and Pippin followed closely behind. The moon's gentle glow guided them across the water, their footsteps barely making a ripple. They arrived at the island and Luna discovered a magnificent waterfall, its cascading waters emitting a soft, dreamlike mist. Curiosity peaked, Luna approached the waterfall. As she drew near, the mist transformed into a wondrous melody that caressed her ears. It was a melody so captivating that Luna couldn't help but dance in its enchanting embrace. The fairies and Pippin joined her, twirling, spinning to the rhythm of the waterfall song. In that moment, Luna realised that dreams were not only meant to be collected, but also celebrated. The whimsical creatures taught her that dreams were the essence of imagination and hope, and they brought joy to both children and dream catchers alike. As Luna and her newfound friends revelled in the magic of the waterfall's melody, they understood that their journey was not just about collecting dreams. It was about spreading joy inspiring courage and reminding children of the infinite possibilities that dreams held. Filled with renewed purpose, Luna and her companions continued their adventure, eager to collect the sweetest dreams the world had to offer. With the blessings of the whispering fairies and the mischievous guidance of Pippin, they would overcome any challenge that awaited them. Chapter 3. The Triumph of Courage Luna and her companions travelled through dense forests, crossed babbling brooks and climbed rugged mountains. Each step brought them closer to their goal of collecting the sweetest dreams for children. However, as they ventured deeper into the heart of the enchanted forest, they faced their most daunting challenge yet. They arrived at the Whispering Caverns, a labyrinthine network of tunnels and passages, the caverns were known for their mischievous nature as they shifted and changed their paths at will. Luna knew that only those with unwavering courage could navigate their way through this treacherous maze. Taking a deep breath, Luna stepped forward, a dream catcher illuminating the darkness. Pippin scampered ahead, his keen senses guiding them through the labyrinth. The whispering fairies enveloped Luna with their delicate wings, providing her with their delicate wings, providing her with a sense of comfort and guidance. The winding tunnels seemed endless, their eerie whispers echoing through the caverns. Luna's heart fluttered with uncertainty, but she pressed on, drawing strength from her determination. Suddenly, the ground rumbled and a stone wall emerged, blocking their path. We're trapped, Pippin exclaimed, his tail drooping with defeat. Luna glanced at her companions, her eyes filled with resolve. We must find a way, she said firmly. Remember, courage is the key to overcoming any challenge. Inspired by Luna's words, the whispering fairies began to sing a melody of bravery their voices intertwined, creating a chorus that echoed through the caverns, dispelling the shadows of doubt. The wall before them trembled and dissolved, revealing a hidden passage. Luna, Pippin and the fairies continued their journey through the whispering caverns, facing numerous trials and tribulations. They encountered illusions that tested their perceptions, rickety bridges that swayed perilously and confusing mazes that played tricks on their senses. But with each challenge, Luna's courage grew stronger and she found strength in the support of her loyal companions. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, they reached the heart of the caverns. Before them stood a shimmering portal, radiating a soft, inviting glow. Luna's dream catcher pulsed with anticipation, sensing the dreams that awaited beyond the portal. With a final surge of courage, Luna stepped into the portal, her companions following close behind. They emerged into a magnificent chamber, adorned with stars that twinkled like diamonds. It was the dream chamber, a realm where dreams were born and nurtured. 
Luna gazed in awe at the wondrous sight before her. Dreams floated in the air, taking the form of colourful orbs that danced with ethereal grace. She reached out, capturing the dreams one by one in her dream catcher, each one a precious treasure. The dreams whispered stories of adventure, joy and wonder, perfect for children's slumbers. With her dream catcher brimming with the sweetest dreams, Luna knew that her quest was complete. She felt a profound sense of fulfilment, knowing that she had fulfilled her purpose and brought happiness to children's lives. As Luna and her companions made their way back through the whispering caverns, they emerged into the sunlight, blinking in its warm embrace. Luna felt a sense of accomplishment and gratitude for the magical journey she had undertaken. Returning to Willowbrook, Luna shared the dreams she had collected with the children of the village. As they slept, their faces glowed with contentment and delight. Luna knew that her adventure had made a difference in their lives, bringing comfort and joy to their slumbers. From that day forward, Luna continued to embark on countless adventures, collecting dreams and spreading happiness to children near and far. She became known as the dream catcher of Willowbrook, a symbol of hope and wonder in the hearts of both children and adults alike. Word of Luna's remarkable abilities spread throughout the land, reaching the ears of kings and queens, storytellers and dreamers from distant kingdoms. They invited Luna to their realms, eager to experience the magic she possessed. Luna humbly accepted their invitations, bringing her radiant spirit and enchanting dreams to every corner of the world. In each new land she visited, Luna encountered unique challenges and met extraordinary creatures. From the majestic unicorns of the Crystal Glade to the mischievous sprites of the Moonlit Grove, Luna formed bonds of friendship and unity with the magical beings she encountered on her adventures. Her travels also brought her wisdom and knowledge from diverse cultures as she listened to the stories and dreams of children from different backgrounds. Luna learned that dreams had no boundaries. They were a universal language that connected hearts and ignited the flames of imagination. Back in Willowbrook, the village celebrated Luna's return with a grand festival. The entire community came together, singing and dancing beneath a sky adorned with shimmering dream catchers. Luna stood at the centre surrounded by loved ones and friends, feeling an overwhelming sense of belonging and joy. As the festival came to a close, Luna took a moment to reflect on her incredible journey. She realised that her adventure was not only about collecting dreams, but also about embracing her own courage and imagination. Luna had discovered that dreams were not just gifts for others, but they were also treasures she carried within herself. With a heart full of gratitude, Luna thanked her family, friends, and the magical creatures who had joined her on her quest. They had supported her, inspired her, and taught her the true meaning of courage and imagination. From that day forward, Luna continued to journey into the realm of dreams, weaving beautiful stories and collecting the sweetest dreams for children around the world. Her spirit of adventure and compassion spread like ripples in a pond, touching the lives of countless dreamers. And every night, as children nestled into their beds, their dreams were gently cradled by Luna's dream catcher, bringing them warmth, wonder, and the sweetest dreams imaginable.